Hello, my name is Lina Maria Aguirre Diaz and I am a former PhD student at the Multifunctional and Supramolecular Materials Group. And I would like to talk about my thesis topic, New Aluminium, Gallium and Indium Polymeric Frameworks as Heterogeneous Green Catalyst. First, let me remind you what metal organic frameworks are and their impact in material science. Metal organic frameworks are a new class of crystalline material built from two main components, metal connectors and organic linkers, which together gives rise to different polymeric structures with different dimensionalities. The most important thing about MOV is that they can be designed in order to present a certain property, making them appealing in tons of applications. Among all these applications, we found in catalysis one of the most interesting fields to explore. Due to its importance in the industry, with 9 out of 10 chemical procedures linked to a catalytic process. In this field, most materials have been recently explored and many advantages can be found for the use of them. Like high selectivity and be able to work under environmentally friendly conditions. So, the main idea of this work was to design, synthesize, characterize and perform the structural determination of new moth materials with high heterogeneous catalytic activity. What kind of connectors and linkers were chosen and why? How were synthesized these materials? Were one of the goals made the synthesis green? Among all connectors employed, divaline cations are the most common, followed by the trivalent ones coming from transition and rare earth metals. However, trivalent p-metals like aluminium, gallium and indium are less explored. And our group has been a pioneer regarding the use of indium as connector in several MOFs with good catalytic properties. So here we decide to continue working with these three cations. Regarding to the organic linkers, a flexible family with a B-shaped skeleton containing carboxylic groups as the coordinative points and some nitrogenated auxiliary linkers were chosen. The synthesis of these materials were made through conventional heating and microwave-assisted hydrothermal synthesis. Looking for time and energy savings, always seeking environmentally friendly conditions. Well, after selection of the principal components and the synthetic conditions for each target material, 20 new MOVs were obtained and fully characterized. In our group, besides the design and the synthesis of these new materials, we are experts in crystallography and counting on single crystal and powder diffractometers allowed us to do the structure determination of the 20 materials obtained. Now what? With the material created and after analyzing their potential catalytic properties performing a deeply analysis of its structure, the catalytic activity of this material was tested and cyanosylylation reaction was selected as the reference organic transformation. The results show that 18 of 20 moths have excellent catalytic performance even at mild catalytic condition. High recyclability without any loss of the catalytic activity of these materials makes them ideal candidates for industrial purposes. Moving on, we select different multi-component reactions following the one-pot methodology in order to test the selectivity performance of our catalyst. Among all results, we want to highlight those obtained using three substructural materials containing aluminium, gallium and indium, because in case of the one-pot Strecker three component reaction, the selectivity obtained using each one of these materials was different. So, a complete study of this behavior allowed us to redirect the catalytic selectivity by using physical mixtures of two different MOVs, and also to develop the first reported bimetallic MOV solid solutions 
containing indium and gallium in the same crystallographic framework position. Well, that is a summary of my work, and I would like to finish saying that science is a beauty, but the most beautiful thing about it is to see how it works to make our life worth living.